Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Christopher Hall and we are going to be talking about today barefoot running versus running in trainers. And um, I'm making this video off the back of a, a, a Panorama TV programme on the BBC which was, it was more about sports drinks but they had a section on uh, the the use of trainers in running and maybe their benefits or their drawbacks and are they as necessary as we might think they are uh, for running and what I'm going to do for you is I've got a clip of the program and it's all about how injuries manifest from running now what most people think is they've got to wear trainers to support their body um, through all the impact that it's going through when you're running. So you need an expensive pair of trainers to, to prevent injury or to, to lessen the effects of, of running that might cause an injury. And what you're going to listen to is you're going to listen to a, a, to a scientist or a guy called Benno Nigg from the University of Calgary. Now he's quite an authority in barefoot running, in um, trainers, in biomechanics on um, sort of injury prevention and that's what he's going to talk about. He's going to talk about the most significant factor in training. So um, yeah, take a watch. It's a, just under a minute long so take a watch and see what you think and I'll come back to you. This research is news that will make the marketing men weep. Turns out it's not all about the trainers. The most important predictors for injuries are distance, recovery time, intensity, and those type of things. So these are all things that the runner controls himself or herself. You don't need an expensive pair of shoes to work that one out. Right, and the shoes come way, way later as minor contributors. That was... Um, of some interest and maybe it it sparks a little bit of thought on on the trainers that you may buy in the future um, because I get questioned a lot about running in in barefoot trainers I guess you could call them and you can see them on the left hand side the Vibrams um, with, with what's called the five fingers um, on the on the trainers themselves they look a bit strange it feels a bit funny when you put them on at first but you soon get used to it just having the the toes fit into the into the glove like um, fingers at the end of the shoe um, but what Benno was talking about there was injury isn't caused by the trainer that you're wearing or the lack of trainer that you're wearing so where people put barefoot trainers on go out and run as they normally would run in trainers um, they then think if they get injured they then think it's because of the trainer. It's not because of the trainer, it's because of the amount of load you're putting through the body as he described. So he said it, the major factors in injury are distance, duration, um, recovery time, intensity, frequency, how much you're doing, um, and without the adequate recovery the body isn't able to recover itself. So when you put barefoot trainers on, yes your support is minimised, but you've got to use an element of common sense in that if your support is minimised then you've got to build that support up in your body because if you wear trainers they take the support away or they give you support so your body doesn't give it to you so as soon as you put the barefoot trainers on the support of your body isn't there because the support has always been taken up by the trainers so it's not the trainers that are the problem it's the the use and the the way that you go about your training that causes the problem. So you have to use an element of common sense and get your frequency, your intensity, your duration um, right in your training when it comes to when it comes to running or any type of training. So I hope this has been helpful for you. I hope it maybe um, makes you think about well, what trainers you're going to buy next. Um, so thanks for listening, and I'll speak to you in another video.